talk nerdy to me. But so we go from Murder House to season two, which I think is like the most controversial season. Controversial in the fact of like it doesn't touch on something that everyone's like, oh, it's taboo. It more touches on something like you either love the season or you hate the season. See, she hates the season. I love the season. Now, I love parts of it. The alien part. That's fucking stupid. That's all I can say. It was not well enough. I like explained. that part because, but yes, I agree. It was not well enough explained. I think that the creators had a really good idea with what they were going with, but then just kind of like had dropped the part. ball on it. Like they really kind of let it go to the wayside compared to all the other stories. And but anyway, so the premise for the second season of American Horror Story is Asylum. It takes place in a mental institution, which. There are tons of asylums that were all over the United States at one point in time, and there are so many horror stories that come out of this stuff. There are all sorts of abandoned uh, you know, asylums that people can go and investigate and all sorts of stuff, and it basically takes place modern day. You got the, the lead singer of Maroon 5. Ha ha. I forgot about that part. Ha That's how much I hate the season. I forgot about that part. That is the glorious part <laughs> about this season, folks. If you love Maroon 5 and you love the lead singer and you like seeing him shirtless, that's why I hate the season. No. That's the best part of the season. Anyway, so the best part of the season is Pepper. <laughs> okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. Anyway, so it starts with him and his brand new wife, which is very sad. Um, or checking out, they're checking all sorts of like uh, horror places, like haunted mm -hmm. places for their honeymoon. Uh, whatever. And so they're there, and there's this thing called Bloody Face. This guy, he was like an insane guy murderer that was that was chained up in this asylum. asylum. And then all of a sudden, he was back and he's killing people. So you're getting little bits of flashbacks, of more of like flash forwards of our time. And then you're getting, the most of the show takes place at the height of their like reign, I would say. Part of the show is um, about basically Nazi doctors doing experiments as well. But what happens is the doctor, he performs experiments on the patients that are in the asylum. Um, you know, just random things. And it's kind of like he injects them with like different viruses, like AIDS and like herpes and stuff like that. But then uh. he also injects them with like antibiotics at the same time. So it mutates them. And I thought that part was cool. I'm just not a big alien fan. Like, you have to really push me to like aliens. So, Asylum, like she says, is it's all about what happens, all the fucked up shit that, and it's run by Catholic nuns, by the way. Yes. Like the, I go get a cane, I'm gonna whip you in the butt, which happens a couple times um, in the show. So if you're into kinky stuff like that, you that know. That was cute. Um, they have like, very innocent nun that like the doctor um who is the the german nazi dude kind of like has a thing for yeah. whatever and like uh the the main like mother superior i think lady which is played by jessica lang who is like glorious i forget her name in the show We're horrible people oh my god asylum was elsa. so long ago no, elsa is no elsa is freak show, freak show. They change names a lot. Yeah. So it's really hard to keep them all straight. So forgive us. I'm sure people are going to run down to the comments and be like, her name was blah, blah, blah. Yes, I'm sure. Thank you for telling me. Anyways. Sorry that she has so many different characters. She does. And, she and I them hate so asylum. Well. I hate asylum. I love asylum. Anyways, but it does touch on like the supernatural, like demons, uh, angel of death, that kind of stuff. But then it also like touches on aliens like the one of the main characters kit is put in there because he saw aliens and his wife was abducted mm -hmm. but everyone's like no you just murdered her because she was black and i'm like but he married her that doesn't make any sense but whatever and then they find something in his neck and it's weird but they really don't touch on it a lot like that was where they dropped the ball like they could have gone so far with the whole because that was back in the day when the first started they started having crop circles yeah. and people started having the i was abducted by aliens and they stuck an anal probe up my butt 
you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, they, yeah, that's where that stuff is. South Park. <laughs> South Park. <laughs> that's the best show ever. South yeah, so in Asylum, they really dropped the ball with the whole alien thing, I think. They, they could have really done more with it, and eh, they really didn't touch on it enough, I felt, and I really would have... American Horror Story, just make a whole season about the aliens. I'm sure you could do it. They're scary. They scared me. When I was a little kid, I used to have nightmares about aliens drowning me in my bathtub. Don't laugh. <laughs> I was scared of aliens, yo. Fuck, dude. I don't like E.T. You want to know the reason? E. That little fucker looked like somebody I went to elementary school with. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. The only thing that scares me about any form of like alien movie is when they put the plastic and like the hazmat suits come in and some like, fuck no. Hazmat suits scare like, you. Aliens are fine, just don't bring in the hazmats. I can't take So like Men in Black is fine. Yeah. Men in Black was fine. I love Men in Black. I don't Okay, like we're sidetracking. We're sidetracking. Blah, 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 blah. American Horror Story. Yeah, that. Alright, so I think we're done with Asylum. Just yeah. Set well, that aside. Well, we're we're done with it. <laughs>